Did you know that London once spent $70 million for a bridge, but construction never started? From the largest abandoned skyscraper in the world to a huge ghost city, on this episode of Built a Billion, we present to you the five biggest mega projects that were never finished. If you love to hear about all of the mega projects of the world, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Have you seen any unfinished mega projects in your country? Let us know in the comments below. Number five, Zhongyun International Project. No country has gone through a more speedy transformation than China over the past 30 years. The country has completed mega projects matching its quick economic rise, but China has also earned a reputation for building cities and turning them into ghost towns with barely any population, if any at all. One of these is the Xiongun International Project. With its European-style buildings, the town was split into an entertainment and residential district with shopping complexes, bridges, and skyscrapers. In 2014, the real estate company behind the project was put under investigation for corruption and the property prices took a huge tumble as a result. The company declared bankruptcy after $17 billion was invested and 700 units were already sold. Just outside the city, the roads teem with life and business moves on as usual, but in the district, you can hear a pin drop. The authorities seized the development in 2017 and the buildings inside are slowly deteriorating. These days, tourists come by to take pictures of the ghost town and marvel at how something so big could be left unfinished. Number four, London Garden Bridge. This next project was planned to be constructed in London over the Thames River. Actor Joanna Lumley proposed an idea to build a bridge that looked like a floating garden above the river. In 2012, the plans were unveiled. The 366 meter green bridge covered in trees and flowers would cost $85 million and connect the South Bank with the temple area. The structure would be open 18 hours a day and host 3 million visitors per year. In 2015, the charity behind the project, named the Garden Bridge Trust, revealed the cost had risen from $85 to $260 million and that $85 million had to come from public funds. The problem with this is that they had already told the people that no money would come from public funds. So the people of London got mad. Journalists said the bridge wasn't serving a major purpose as it was already in an area with multiple bridges and it was just too expensive. The Millennium Bridge, for example, was constructed for only $25 million. Preparations were stalled in 2016, pending financial review, and by 2017, the cost had risen to $280 million and only $180 million had been raised. Talks were even held with Apple to fund the project and name it the Apple Bridge, but Apple wanted to open a store on the bridge, diminishing the vision for the project. The project was scrapped in August of 2017, costing $60 million that went to the contractor and $12 million in design costs. What was supposed to be a sustainable new landmark for a country turned out to be a multi-million dollar failure and ultimately a mega project that was never even started. Number three, Doha Shark Crossing. As we know, Qatar is hosting the 2022 FIFA World Cup and the scandal leading to the resignation of FIFA officials didn't stop Qatar from starting on several infrastructural projects in preparation for the event. One of these was the Doha Shark Crossing unveiled in 2013. The structure is a 12 kilometer long crossing consisting of three bridges interconnected by long underwater tunnels. The goal was to be able to move 6,000 cars per hour smoothly between the West Bay Area and the Hamad International Airport. The project that was estimated to cost $12 billion came to a stop two years after it was announced. Low oil prices in a construction sector that was already overwhelmed may have been to blame for the delay. All the workers were too busy building residential buildings for the growing population. The government postponed all non-essential mega projects, including the Shark Crossing. The project was revisited in 2019 and was supposed to restart at the end of 2020 with a $140 billion budget for mega projects. This project looks likely to finish, but its four-year completion time means it'll be a while before we see it. Number two, Ryu Gong Hotel. Here we go on a rare trip to North Korea, to a time before Westerners were barred from entering its borders. Decades ago, North Korea would have accommodated visitors in a 105-story pyramid-shaped hotel that would be the tallest hotel of its time. The hotel was conceived as the communist answer to newly capitalist South Korea. 
A South Korean firm had just built the tallest tower in South Africa, and North Korea responded by saying, hey, I can do it too, but taller. In 1987, construction began on the Ryugong Hotel with financial banking from communist Russia. At 330 meters, the building would have three wings forming a cone towards the top. The upper part would host five-star restaurants with panoramic views of the skyline. That would have been great for them, but the Soviet Union fell in 1991, and so the money went with it. The project paused in 1992, and the abandoned project became known as the Hotel of Doom, which fits. It did look very villainish. An Egyptian company then randomly took over and installed a glass facade and LEDs to the building in 2008 for $180 million. Then the building was abandoned. Again. In 2018, the building found a use as a giant LED display for North Korean history and messages from the government. It would cost $2 billion to complete, which is 5% of the country's GDP, so it seems unlikely it will be finished. On the bright side, it holds the world record for the tallest occupied building in the world. That's something, right? Number 1. Golden Finance 117 Back to China, where one of the tallest skyscrapers in the world remains unfinished. It was started in 2008 and would have taken over Shanghai Tower as the second tallest building in the world. The tallest it got was 597 meters in 2015 when the developers went bankrupt. It's not totally unused though as a Russian couple climbed to the top and even climbed the crane left at the top of the building. In 2020, the government banned skyscrapers over 500 meters because they could, and now the gold in finance may never be finished. Which one of these projects would you like to see finished? Let me know in the comments below. I've also done a video on the most useless mega projects ever constructed, and that should be on the screen. If you enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe, and click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.